Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at the Yaboom Smart Balance Car based on an Arduino platform and it uh, I believe uses a PID loop to control the balancing. So this is the same kind of software and logic that would run the uh, Segway uh, portable transporter. This might be uh, kind of neat to have a look at. I'm going to get it out of the box. So here is everything that's in the box. A USB-A to Type-B cable. A uh, Arduino Type Bluetooth board. A single DuPont cable. Three unmarked 18650 batteries. The instructions. An AC adapter. 12.6 volts, 800 milliamp. 12.6, that's interesting voltage. And finally, we have the car itself. So we've got what appears to be an aluminum plate here, a couple of big beefy motors, real nice rubber tires, a plexiglass plate here, plexiglass plate here, and our battery compartment in there. So let's grab a screwdriver and take this off so we can get a look down at the hardware. Now this uh, car was sent out free of charge by Elephant J, the same company who sent us the uh, nice little Arduino starter kit. So they have some, uh, some interesting Arduino type items in their store. So there's the first layer of the onion peeled. Let's uh, take off the second layer so we can get a look down at the boards in there. Okay, so this will be their controller board. 5 volt power. That looks like a uh, either a booster or a buck converter. There's our charger circuitry. 12.6 volt in, 5 volt. These are our motor controllers over here. Well, we're going to take that one off so we can see what's underneath. We just keep digging deeper and deeper. I'm going to put a mark here so I know which connector goes where. That's one of them lessons you learn the hard way. All right. It's like four more screws and we're down to the, the actual controller board. You guys are just getting into electronics and you don't have a full toolkit. Our friends at Cyber City Circuits are having a special sale on their toolkit. If you put in the code Learn Electronics, you can get 10% off your order. Now, Cyber City Circuits is a veteran owned US business so I am more than happy to support them and promote their efforts alright I'm gonna get these screws out we'll be right back okay I got the screws out so we're left with this bottom plate and our motors put that back out of the way and we have the driver board and underneath of it wouldn't you know our old friend, the Arduino Uno. Should have known, right? Okay, let's take a look at this driver board because there's some sophisticated stuff going on here. All right, the first one is this board right here. 
and that is the uh, TB6612 FNG. That is a uh, motor driver board from SparkFun, and it uses dual uh, motor drivers, just like a dual H-bridge controller here for controlling the motors. Next, we have this module here, and it is, where's his name at? Let me read that, the MPU 6060. That is an inertial uh, measurement unit, an IMU. This is some sophisticated stuff. And then here we have our, uh, our charging circuit for charging the batteries. We have a spot for uh, an ultrasonic motor, so you can make it obstacle avoiding. And then we have the uh, HCSR04, which is our Bluetooth board. And it plugs in here. So very nice. I'm going to reassemble it and uh, get the batteries charged. And we'll take a look at the app. All right, I've got it all reassembled here. And uh, a couple of quality control issues. All of the screws were loose. So you're gonna wanna go over those, make sure they're all tight. And this Bluetooth board, just is barely in there I'm afraid if you hit a bump that's gonna come flying out of there and <laughs> you're not gonna have any control and the batteries well they're a tight fit but other than that we got it together now on to the bigger issue the app so if we go through our instruction sheet here it tells you to type in this address to get the app. Well, that brings you up an error. It's, there's nothing there. I had to email my contact at Elephant J, and she had to send me a link. And I will post the link down below where you can get to the page for this and find the app. So that's where we're at with that. So our next step is going to be to charge it, I believe. We should probably look at the instructions, huh? Yep, let's charge it up. All right, right down there, where my finger is pointing, is our charge outlet. So I'll plug that guy in. I don't see any sorts of indicators for anything going on. So. We're going to leave this for a while, a couple hours in, uh, in my actual time. A mere blink of the eye in YouTube video editing time. Okay, let's see if we can get her to power up and balance itself. So it says we hold it perpendicular to the ground, press the power button. Well, that's pretty interesting. It does seem to have pretty good uh, sense of balance, unless you slam it off to something, right? Now, how do we get it to balance again? Oh, we just pick her back up and and it beats his head into a wall. That's always fun. So after some fudging around, I was finally able to get it to connect via Bluetooth and to enter the balance mode. And here you can see the control panel on this phone. And it does seem to be working. So here's forward, reverse, Got a little bit of creep going on there, again I'll hit forward, make a turn,
and you can see the motor speeds are going on there we can see some charts maybe don't really see anything but okay go back home try and make it move a little bit and then we'll come back and look at that yeah still nothing there you can get in here and adjust the uh, PID parameters and there are some other modes so right now it is in keypad mode okay there's gravity mode let's call that a fail put it back in keypad mode So not quite sure what gravity mode does except cause it to crash and then we have rocker mode do we dare try it why not so there it is in rocker mode oh okay kind of like a little little joystick kind of thing Put it back in keypad mode there. So this is a, a unique toy. I actually like this. So I'm going to play with this some more and uh, we'll take another look at it in the future. Let's see what happens if I hit the disconnect button. It just kind of hovers there. Alright, where's the power button? That might have been a mistake. So here's a look at uh, Elephant Jay's website. And you can see the self-balancing car kit for Arduino. Comes in at 90 freedom dollars. Any more information? There we go. From the looks of this, this is a, a different control panel than I have. And the car looks slightly different as well. I don't know if I have an earlier version or a later version, but whatever. I mean, it works well. It is an interesting little platform to experiment with. And you can get one off the website here for 90 bucks. I shall put a link down below. Thanks to Elephant J for sending this out. Thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.